Hi, this is Josias from Session, and today we're going to learn a little bit more about our latest API update. As you know, Session has a video editing API, SDKs, integrations, etc., which helps you to create your own video, video editing apps or any, any video related app in order to help you save a lot of time, save a lot of resources, etc. You don't need to know about video editing, you just need to use our documentation and our platform in order to do almost all the processes to connect our API with your own solution. So our latest API update, it's about audio and patterns. We just created an API structure, a pattern structure, in order to help you uh, automatically detect when something happens with an audio in order to help you react when that happens. So for example, our first approach is, let's say you want, you have uh, like a thousand videos, just saying, with five minutes interviews. Every video has a five, uh, five minutes interview. You want to be able to extract when these guys here are talking, or you want to be able to extract when uh, the crowd is uh, clapping, or when there is a specific soundtrack or more noise or le less noise, etc. Well, now you can do that automatically, 100% automatically by using our new pattern instructor. So, uh, for example, these guys are talking. Okay, okay here we go. All right. Okay, and they were like, uh, okay, and they're here, here we go, etc., etc. So, the silence moment, we don't want it. Let's say we, we only want to strike when they are talking. Ready? Like, you're ready, etc., etc. So, what are these. API update will help you is to know when that happens within within the timeline. Will also help you to know how uh, to extract all the clips with inside this this video where there is X amount of audio, the amount you 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 actually you want, and then it will also help you to create one clip like one video uh, with all the clips. So that's what our latest API update does. I'm going to show you how in a few seconds. So let's say we have this video because it's easier to understand with this. Okay. Simple. So I'm going to update that video to my session account. In order to do that, in this case, since I'm not using the API, I'm using this simple interface, I'm going to update, update, uh, update it. Sorry, upload it here. So I just created a simple JSON script. Uh, when I, I'm creating, I'm creating right now a, a session template. So testing uh, audio pattern. So I'm gonna upload that video to my session account. These are the output profiles in case I want one or several uh, video formats, resolution, codecs, etc. And I'm gonna update, up, upload that video to my session account. I'm going to take it from my computer. Okay, so that file's name is sync, I guess. So, sorry. Yeah, here. Okay, I'm going to update it, upload it, sorry. Done. So now, if I go to my media account here, uh, media section within my session account, here we have the file. So the new option is here, Patterns, Apply. I'm gonna show you how to do it here within this interface. You can do the same by using the API. I'm gonna show you the API documentation after I'm done with this, when I'm done with this. So what I'm gonna do now is to apply a pattern. In this case, the only pattern possible is audio. Our next steps is to do the same with uh, images, like detecting specific colors, detecting specific movement, etc everything to help you automatically edit a video or to help you react when something happens within a video from an editing perspective. So audio level and this will ask me, the action is I can get information about the audio level when, when there is something specific happening or I can also create one video with all the, the clips uh, where there is X amount of audio, in this case uh, 0.05 or multiple videos. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to 
get information, apply. So right now this session platform is working on that video. We, sh we should wait a few seconds until actually we've got that information and it's done. Here we have that information. So here we have the JSON information on the audio. We know that here at the start, the start point, 275 milliseconds and with a duration of 391 milliseconds there is audio. The same here, 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 here. This amount of audio that we specified before. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven moments of audio within that interview. Okay, well sorry, no, it's not an interview, it's a video I saw before, this one here. I'm gonna play it again. Great. So now what I'm gonna do is to create one, well, yeah, one video containing all the moments when there is audio. Well, this amount of audio in this case. Apply. Will take a few seconds. And as you can see now, it's happening. This is the first one. I really don't know if we're going to have more audios. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, of course, it's only one audio. So let's see how it looks like. I need to download the file in this case. So let's go to my download folder. With my computer is this one here. I think it was MP4, I'm not sure. Let me try to oops sorry. Let me try to open that file. Yeah. Okay. I use a really low resolution. But here we have one video containing all the the, the well, th that amount of audio we specified, which is 0, 0.05. And now I'm gonna create several clips containing the moments when there is this amount of video of audio within that video. So I want to create multiple videos. Apply. Now it's happening. Session platform should be creating several clips and here we have it so i'm gonna I'm, i will not play it well i'm gonna play one this one just to help you see that it works how it works how does it work and uh, let me open it okay <laughs> that's all beep okay it's not that i'm using bad words it's just that that's the sound. Okay, great. So that's how you do it from the from platform perspective. You can do the same here by using the API. If we go to API uh, reference, API methods, and here you have it: media apply pattern. And here you have the information: apply a pattern to a media, pattern to audio level, R JSON, etc. So right now the only way to do it is like to apply patterns by using uh, the audio. In the following months you'll be able to do the same with images, uh, well images like yeah, uh, images and videos in order to help you automatically do more with our solution. So if you have any questions at all, just let me know. We're gonna be here to help you. And yeah, you can write us at help at session.com or you can find us on Twitter at session or you can use here the click for live help chat uh, whenever we are uh, online which is usually on commercial times uh, and yeah whatever you need just let us let us know we are here to help has have a great day bye